underneath this component that we just this flat list this restaurant list we're going to need a divider and we're going to need another heading so we can just close this store component and close the heading you can close all these pages what we need we need to go to our home okay so in our home we're going to require another heading paste it down and we have to change the title okay so here we're going to say try something new something like that so that's going to be our heading uh, but before heading we need to just have a a divider a line that divides this list and this title so we go to our components and we're going to create a new file and we're going to call it divider and it has to be a JSX file so we need to create the component inside so that's going to be our divider so here we're going to get rid of everything we just need a view and our view is going to be a closed component right so we need to create a style object down here and we need to call it divider okay so that's going to be our style object and we need to hook it to this view so we need to access our styles first and from our styles we're going to get this divider so now we need to work inside of our style object okay so first if you're working on a divider we need border color okay so our border color is going to be a grayish color so we're going to go with the colors from our constants we need to import them first and we're going to use gray 2 like that we need to reduce the like the strength of this color so we need to include the opacity prop and we need to give it an opposite of 0 0.7 after that let's go ahead with the width we need to define the width of the of the line so our line is going to be 0 0.3 this is not supposed to be width we're supposed to have two kind of width the width for the border and the width for the for the line itself so my mistake here so here we're supposed to get the width from our constants and then we're going to just subtract 40 over here so we need border width okay so for border width we're going to have 0 0.3 we need to include margin left we need to give it a margin left of 10 and we need margin bottom so at the bottom we're going to give it a margin of 5 and we need margin top okay so margin top we're going to give it a value of seven so that's going to be our divider so we are done with our divider let's close this and we need to hook it up to our home page so it's going to come right after this nearby restaurant component before the heading so we need to import it it's supposed to be divider and it has to be a closed component so here we need to go ahead and import the divider okay so i'm just going to use the component that we currently have the heading and here it's supposed to be map to divider okay so we have our line here